Oh my gosh. This eclipse has people going bonkers. Bonkers! What a time, right? And I know you guys have been seeing the videos, all these conspiracy theories and so on. You already know what's happening. Solar eclipse that's coming. They even closed down schools and businesses are shutting down early. I will be recording some of the day and when it happens. I'm not even sure if I will have a half day because they want to share it with their families and so forth. I have no clue. I am just so excited to see overall the shenanigans that are going to happen tomorrow, God willing. Like I want to go to the parks to see how packed it is. If I can get even a half day myself. I'm gonna see live action, especially if I can get off early. The things that are going that are happening around this event because i guess the total eclipse is supposed to last several hours but the total eclipse in which the x and everything shows and all of that is supposed to be for four minutes you can't wait for this <laughs> there is barely anybody on the road today this is uh, this is ridiculous Literally, everybody's at home. I guess I could still venture out though and see if people are still gonna try and watch it in this rain. Again, that's if I get off. You'll see in a moment. Oh, I ain't got no sunglasses to get back home. Or do I? No, I don't. Help! <laughs> this day is so wild to me because it's mad sunny right now. It's, it's real sunny right now, okay? But in a couple hours, it's gonna be cloudy again. Downtown, it's a hundred dollars to park. Absolutely not. I'm going home. I'm eating lunch, and then we're gonna go see what other shenanigans may be popping off, okay? Look at this. making a whole thing, a whole thing. Got the music playing, I don't know if y'all can hear that. Look at all these people. Crazy. Absolutely insane. Get out of my way. There's going to be so much happening. <laughs> I don't understand. Oh my gosh. Y'all. Look. Hold on. Let me switch the camera because this is crazy. Oh, tent out fam. Look at that. So that's what it looks like currently at 12.40 p.m. on April 8th, where the sightseeing parts are. Now I get why they're at the certain location because with the sun going a specific way near the water, I totally get it. All right, those were two parts. I'm actually gonna head inside, eat some lunch, and then may go out a little bit further around the time that the eclipse is supposed to happen and see how packed things are. Uh, this is just interesting to me given people are making a whole day out of it. I'm trying to find a bigger park that has better parking. We'll see too. It's either the one with the castle or the one with the pets one of them. We'll see. How packed the other side of the park is. So as you can tell, 
I got my largest pair of sunglasses that I own. They're pretty dark lensed. It's like an ombre effect, but the top part is really uh, dark. I'm not gonna stare into it. When things like this, even I like to find less crowded areas in terms of events and so forth. I just like to be low-key, you know? I will see you guys in a few moments as I capture the total eclipse. Why didn't y'all tell me I had a bunch of dust bunnies on my collar? Y'all rude. It's fine. I promise I'm not dusty. As you can see, there's not as many people, but it's a nice sized park, actually. Got a vast green area. People chilling. Look at that. That's so funny. They are mad chilling. I got my own. I got three back there too. I thought about sitting out. Let me join them. As you can see, it's getting pretty dark out now. Looks like pretty dark, so dim. The actual dimness is not doing it justice. It's really weird, actually. Oh, did you hear him? You're the dude. It's getting dark. Wow. You can hear the cheering of people. That's what it looks like over there. That's what it looks like over here. Beautiful. I'm actually glad it came out. Wow. Even the lights of the park are on because the motion sensors think that's nighttime. There's one over there. I even have to use my flash for you to see me. It's that dark. And I don't feel like turning on my car because I don't want to interrupt the experience for people that are around me. So yeah, I'm still wearing my shades and we are using the nightlight so you can see me. Wow. wow. Now it's back to light. Oh, 
not gonna lie that moment watching that alone <sighs> wow i feel like my heart's racing things like that Whew. wow that was so eerie well time to go back home <laughs> that was nuts now that I'm back home in a sheltered place, doing that and watching that alone, which I didn't want to, I wanted people with me, but it just ended up not being able to happen. Oh, my, like watching it alone, even though you're like, you're around other people. That was really eerie. Like, abnormally, I, w I don't want to say abnormally eerie, but it was like, I just felt something in my spirit. Now, mind you, I don't think I would have had that same experience if I didn't travel out and try and find a place for parking. Because when I tell you everything was packed where I tried... That's why I left as early as I did, so I can get somewhere on time. But through the camera, I don't think it did it justice on how eerie it was. You heard the people screaming and shouting, cannons going off. It's like... And again, if I was just in here and just watching TV, not paying attention to the outside world, it just would have been like, cool, you know, but it wasn't like, it's totally different when you're outside. And mind you, I wasn't picnicking out. I was in my car, but it was so eerie. My heart is still kind of accelerated. Wow. Wow. I'm glad that I caught it for y'all. Even though my apprehension with it, I'm glad that I was able to get the footage on what it really looks like. Well, that's it for this video because I need to go calm myself down something. I need a drink after what I just witnessed. Honestly.